Hello guys and welcome to When in Halifax. Today, we will discuss about five things that you should do as a new immigrant here in Canada. First, get a health card. Especially, we have a ch you came from other country, and you, there's a definitely a change of temperature. We don't know our health. We're not sure about our health. Just in case anything happens, you have a health card. You know why? Because healthcare here in Canada is very expensive. So just to make sure that you are covered get an health card so on your day one once you landed here in nova scotia or in anywhere in canada get a health card and second is look for apartment when you look in when you're looking for apartment my best advice is look for the school especially if you have kids especially if you have kids don't look for a non-fancy apartment but look for the school first and once you get your school, once you, uh, once you find the best suitable school for your kids, look an apartment nearby because it's easier, especially um, you don't need a car. You, need a, you don't need a car, definitely on your first year, you don't have a car. So if it is very near to your school, you just walk, right? So my third advice is build connection. I think even if you are not here in Canada or you are in a different country, you always building network. Here in Canada, my best advice is to look for Filipino groups. Um, in Nova Scotia, the Filipino community here are very welcoming. They're very helpful. They're very um, accommodating guys. Um, so for me, as if you are a new immigrant, look for connection. Look for a network if you are from different country look for your group because this group will help you will give you some advice especially if you're looking for a job maybe they can help you maybe they can give you some advice uh, on where to go uh, what to do in your, in the province you're going to right so for me that's the third thing that you should do build connection build a network and my fourth advice is Familiarize with the public transportation that is available on your province. Here in Nova Scotia, Canada, we have public transport. We have only two public transportation. That is the bus and the taxi. But back home in the, our Philippines, we have jeepney, tricycle, we have pajak. So we are different uh, mode of trans transportation here. So be familiarized with the public transportation. So if you're a new immigrant, you don't know what to do, um, always uh, learn on how to ride a bus. Um, here in Nova Scotia, we use uh, bus tickets, bus pass, 
And then taxi, I think they have the flat rate of $3. Uh, you need a visa or, or credit card for the taxi. And you just need to call their hotline number or they have the app. And for the Uber user or Grab, unfortunately, here in Nova Scotia, we don't have Grab. So on the fifth, fifth advice is learn how to adapt. Learn how to adapt on all things. It means that you, you should learn um, to adapt on the food. The food here, even we have tilapia here in Canada. Tilapia in the Philippines is different. The taste is different. Uh, the coconut milk. So we love, we are Bicolanos and we love coconut milk. The coconut milk back home are fresh here is in, in, in can. So always adapt. And especially for the food, it is very hard to find the same taste same taste in your country in your place it's totally different but the thing is we have uh, available goods or, or products that is available here we have an asian store here we have two filipino grocery here a kabayan and we have another one um kabayan and big gray and we have the silong uh, a filipino restaurant and we have an Asian tour that's Shanpat. And I think in anywhere in the province of, no, uh, of Canada, they have, the, uh, they have an Asian tour too. So don't worry about the food. So, and then um, my, my fifth advice is learn how to adapt of all things. Part of it is the weather temperature. You know guys, I am from the Philippines. The weather, the weather is totally different. It's very hot in our, in my country, but here we have four seasons. Back home, we have only two seasons. That is sunny and rainy. Summer, still, it's hot. When it's, we don't have winter, we have rainy season, but still hot. So we don't have winter. So try to adapt on the weather that here in Nova Scotia. Here in Nova Scotia or in Canada, we have summer, we have fall, we have winter, and we have spring, right? So in winter times, how to adapt? My best advice is proper clothing. That's it. If you have a proper clothing, you don't need to be afraid of anything. You don't be afraid to be freezing, freezing cold because you have a proper clothing. That's, a pro that's, that's my best advice, proper clothing, and that's it. Anyway, thank you, thank you very much for watching, supporting, and subscribing to our, to our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we have a When in Halifax forum in our Facebook. So please visit our Facebook group, Facebook page, and uh, When in Halifax Instagram. We tried our best to connect to everyone. We tried our best to answer. So if you have questions, just comment it below, guys, and we will try to answer everything. Thank you, thank you very much, and have a good day.